Areas of valuables such as cigarettes, cell phones and cash transport these items behind thick glass and steel. But is this kind of perfection within or the protection within reach of regular motorists? ENCA's uh, senior reporter Barry Bateman paid a visit to an armor fitment factory just outside Pretoria to find out more. Daylight robbery. It is extremely violent and often deadly. But... Recent heists have demonstrated how armored vehicles can make the difference between life and death. Criminals are often armed with high-powered weapons. So what does it take to stop a bullet from one of these penetrating your car? Some hard and heavy materials are sourced from around the world. And a lot of clever engineering. Glass is imported from South America. Our supplier AGP is based in Peru, Colombia and, and uh, Brazil. And that's where the glass gets manufactured. The steel all gets manufactured in Sweden. And then the composite materials uh, originates in different parts of the world, but consolidated inside South Africa. It might seem like a far-fetched idea, but it's not that far out of reach for motorists who need this kind of protection. So there's two major levels that we use for civilian market. The one is level B4 and the other one is B6. In summary, B4 stops handguns and B6 stop uh, rifles. The cost depends on the level of protection and ranges from about 200,000 rand to a million rand. But the price is not the only load taken into account. Up to a ton of material can be fitted to the vehicle. To carry the weight on the vehicle, you also need to do suspension upgrades, brake upgrades, and then structural modifications of the vehicle like the hinges to carry the extra weight of the doors. The most popular vehicles being armoured are double cab buckies and SUVs, such as Fords and Toyotas. And they're mostly commercial clients. So our clients range from uh, corporate clients, including mines, uh, including uh, governmental agencies. And a lot of uh, uh, customers are doing uh, valuables in transit, including cigarettes, money, cell phones, uh, any valuable product uh, transported in bulk. The end product is a vehicle that looks like any other bucky or SUV. Only a closer look gives away its thick protective skin. Barry Bateman, Pretoria.